Was that the only place we could go to, though? Because we're definitely looking to... What else is around here? Hmm. Well, we did have the one spot with the elevator. The elevator shaft. Maybe we can try looking into that. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need a little bit more for this place to open up here. We all good? Oh! Oh my gosh! These rocket guys. Woo! Don't you get away from me. Thank you. Down here. No, this wasn't quite where I was thinking of. Over on this side. This is the only place I can think of that we haven't been to yet, I think. But if we fall down there... Maybe we can do it slowly. Yeah? Okay, this works. It's not the most elegant. But we're doing it. Oh. We've done it. The pit. The pit. The mold has to do with plants, right? There's mold around here. Mold? Plants? Plants in general? I don't like it. We got an energy thing here too. Maybe we need to power something up. Here's me again. Don't even remember taking that photo. Okay. Oh. Maybe that one note was right. <laughs> People here do seem to like plants a little bit too much. Clearance level 4? Don't have it. And there's no windows around here, so we can't get in. Can we touch this? Yeah, the ground is touchable. That's alright. That is also level 4. Suddenly, so many restricted areas around here. Are we making any progress on getting out? Yeah, we're getting closer to parapsychology now. Ooh, what is this place? Uh, maybe I'll check that out later on. Hold on. Level 6! Mold hosts! There's our mold hosts. Finally meeting them. They seem relatively harmless so far, but I don't know. Ooh. Oh god! <laughs> Ooh! Whoa! I'm actually completely dying here. What's going on? What's hitting me? The hose from that far away? Oh, I really gotta kill it. Look! My health! Oh, this is bad, this is bad. I think I'm gonna die here.
Yeah? Are we somehow okay? Ha <laughs> ha! I need help! Badly. Oh god! Woo! Oh god! No! Oh! Those moldy thingies were all super explosive. The timed mission failed, but I don't think it's that important, so... I mean, it's not like there's much we can do about it anyway. <gasps> what?! It's gone! Okay, so I went back to the mold place twice just now, and I died twice. I think I might be going to it a little bit too early, because... Those guys were level 6, and the random people that we've been coming across here are level 3. So I was thinking, mm, maybe I shouldn't go that way, but then I walked back here just now, and... This place has miraculously cleared up itself. Is it related to anything I did in the mold place? I'm not sure, but, uh... I guess we can go through now. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. And of course the building would immediately shift so that I can't help her. Parakinesiology, parapsychology, astral exhibition. If I just try to go this way right now... Oh, there's an elevator here. Uh, I can't see what's happening in front of me, but I can't seem to reach that area. So maybe I'll go this way first. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know how this place magically opened up, but it did. Oh, here we go. Yeah, but see, look at this. These guys are level 3. And the mole people were level 6 earlier. Since there's a bit of a metroidvania component to this, I do think maybe we went to that place a tad too early. I'm sure it's something we'll revisit down the line though, so no worries. Maybe when I get stronger. Oh god. Oh! No explosives, please. Are we all good here? What was that? Oh god. Where are we? This is... Is this parakinesiology? Oh... My god. Keep your distance from the glass. Can I go to each individual room? This one's really red for whatever reason. Whoa! Uh... Okay... Emergency call supplement. AWE-18. Oh, it's related to this one. Details. Transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. 911, what is your emergency? Hello. Hello. I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire. Towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, and can you describe your surroundings? <laughs> ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Note. Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Oh, what the heck? She was in the telephone wires? An individual experienced transcorporeality via a phone line. <gasps> Somebody got stuck in the phone line, for real! To the average person, just seems like maybe the person hung up, but like... 
The number was not even in service though, that's the scary part. Does anyone want to explain to me what this is? Do I want to know what that is? Can I find out? Maybe if we walk around to the back. Oh god. These are just dummies, right? You know, even though there's sometimes nothing in the rooms, I'm still so scared every time I look inside. Oh, but it does seem like we can't go through the back. Even though you see doors there, we can't... We can't go through. Maybe later on? Hmm... Oh, maybe it's through that one door that got locked up over there. But the building shifts have kind of changed that. The astral plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. I like how the Black Pyramid is in the logo of the FBC too. Oh. Oh wow, this control point! Half of it is on the wall. What determines whether something becomes a control point or not anyway? Because this one seems pretty man-made. Or maybe once they built the building, they realized this spot was a control point, so they just drew a marker and marked it with tape? Hmm. The Black Pyramid is actually something interesting to focus on because I think in the non-astral plane area, the only place where we've seen it is in the chief executive, the executive sector where Emily Pope is. The first control point that we found. Astral Exhibition, Processes and Best Practices. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but mmm was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the mmm, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the mmm's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. Something plural. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity, now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Oh, so that's an outdated term then. Still would be nice to know it. These pictures... How do we get them? Oh, that does look like a astral plane, according to what we know. But like a really small version. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though oh. it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then. One could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. What? That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. A apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, 
were always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Is that the thing we saw in the room earlier? Oh my god. I think the place did give off a feeling that it was part of the mind. But if you think about it, especially for the merry-go-around one, we kind of fell out of it back into that room where we entered it from. So I guess it does make sense that it's a physical location and not just part of the mind. Oh my god, what is that? Do I want it? What? Uh, I can't believe they keep that thing here. Well, I know it's kind of brutal, but it's also like, well, what are we going to do with the thing? If we don't lock it up. Do you want to kill me? Don't think we want to touch it, but I think we have to. Oh boy. I can kind of wear it down, but like overall, what do I do with it? Because I think we, we saw this back in the merry-go-round too, but... What can we do? Back then, I wasn't able to kill it either. Do we just leave? Like that? Uh oh, I might have trapped myself in here. <laughs> oh, okay, there's multiple spots. Um, I think we're meant to do something, but like... Do we want to maneuver this place in a certain way? Everything is malfunctioning. That's wonderful. Oh, this is very... Epileptic. We'll get that later on, alright? This is not the time. The batteries are low? Is that the problem? Buttons aren't working. It's definitely hurting me a little bit. If I close it off... Hmm... But what can I do about it? I gotta do something, right? Do I have to? I want to! But I'm not sure... What? We can't just let the alarm keep ringing, and this place is pretty much a dead end. No, I think we gotta um, find a way. Maybe I'll investigate for a little bit more. Oh! There's no battery! So we want to put the battery thing there. Oh, of course! Of course! But... We need two battery things, right? Yeah, it still doesn't work. We need one more. Now, where can we find the other one? Right over there. Are we all good? Hang in there, I'm gonna do something to you. Oh, I closed the thing, but is that even a good thing, or...? Oh, uh, I don't even know, actually. Mmm, do I want to push that thing inside 
here? But how can I lure it? It's just kind of wreaking havoc everywhere right now. But if you come over here... And then I try to leave like that. And then I do this. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? I don't know how it got out. Oh, it was explained in the video just now. So no, that person we saw in the room wasn't it. It was this thing. Astral Fugue? Oh, is that the old name for the Astral Spike? Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here! Oh, God. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Oh, we can't let her die. No. I mean, Jesse seems to immediately think that... Oh, God. His clusters heal other enemies. Destroy them to make the fight easier. Okay. Nope. Die. Whoa! Alright. So I feel like Jesse is already immediately being suspicious of the Bureau. Because her tone when she's talking about that thing is like, what the heck is the Bureau doing with it? But from my perspective, I'm kind of like, well, if we have that thing around here and we don't know what to do with it, we would trap it in a room, right? Because at least right now, with our abilities, it doesn't seem to be killable, so... If I were the Bureau, I would just trap it in some room too. Although that room did kind of seem like they were trying to reenact the astral plane with cardboard and stuff. There was a cardboard black pyramid in the sky. Something about making it feel more comfortable in its own environment. It can't be helped. They want to learn more about this thing. This is a research place after all, so we're gonna have to conduct some experiments on it. It doesn't look very humanoid, so probably people don't really think about the ethical implications of experimenting. Because it doesn't feel like we're hurting people, although at this point we don't really know. Oh! There's more! Whoa! Ah! I evaded in the wrong direction! We'll come back here. Oh god! No more explosions, please. Oh, there's still more. There's a really big one with a shield over there. Right now, we don't have the ability to throw back grenades yet. Oh, speaking of which, earlier I saw a control point, but I didn't look at my abilities. Oh lord. Get out of here! Oh! We good? Another control point. Building shifts happen after we cleanse a control point. Well, good. Marshall is still alive. Let's take a look at some of the stuff we can read. His cluster. 
His clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the His makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the His as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Alive. I kind of see this as like a hive mind thing, so although it doesn't look alive, somebody out there that's actually alive is probably controlling it somehow. We don't have any abilities, but we did complete this one. Okay. And his elevated headshot tactics. Kill enemies in the executive sector with headshots. We're not even in the executive sector right now. Shatter. Shatter. Yeah, let's do that one. Astral constructs. Are there new forms? There are. Construct pierce. We need one more astral blip. We'll have to be on the lookout for that. Let's look around this place first. What even is that? A brain? A captive audience. Oh, I wanted to read the thing. Astronauts information. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box. In the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a mmm session, therapy, in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that mmm mmm within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Hmm. Well, yeah, if they want to practice going into the astral plane, they need a object of power. And in this case, it seems like it's the X-ray light box, which I believe is the one that we were told to collect just now in the mission. Oh, not this kind of mission. The main mission. It's in the lab over there. Well, we'll eventually come across all of it. Astral blip! I can make my new gun form now. Groupthink. This study extends the work of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments by using a telepathic individual as the subject. See experiments mm, for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in mm. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of mm and mm. Telepathy. Oh. It seems like there was a brain model here that we kind of destroyed once we came into this area. Let me try to make the new form right away. Yeah, wonderful. This is... What is it good for? Construct spin. Wait, did I not make the... Oh, spin! Spin is one I can make too, but now I don't have enough source. Uh, can I get enough by deconstructing my other stuff? 
Hold on. Oh, but we can only have two weapon forms at a time. Yeah, Pierce. And each of these forms has a different level. Well, let me try out what Pierce is first. Like, one very precise shot? Okay. For regular purposes, I think probably the Shatter would be a bit more useful, but the Pierce would be good for boss battles. And it would probably be really good combined with headshot damage too. So I'll just put a random one here. Damage after a kill? Zoom! Oh, that could be good. Damage? Let's do zoom. These other slots I can't get yet. Uh, okay, so let me see if I can dismantle some of this stuff here. Maybe some of the worst mods, because these are all level 1, these are level 2. So the level 1 ones we can probably destroy. But we only get 50 a pop. And I think we're missing like 4,000, so no matter how much we deconstruct right now, I don't think we'll have enough. It's okay, we can still do this for now. We have a level 3 one. But it's only energy plus 10. It's kind of little. Oh, these ones are worth a tad more in deconstruction. Hmm. I want to try using it right now though, because I feel like... more energy would be a good thing here. Headshot damage... Yeah, I'm not gonna use all of these that much, but uh, we'll keep going like this for now. Yeah. Was there anything back here? Kind of wrecked the whole place already, but... Mm. We came in through... Where? Was it somewhere up there? Extrasensory lab. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me just look around the place itself first. Recording chair procedures. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Number one, ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in their chair. Number two, ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. Number three, check if the volunteer is comfortable. Number four, Activate the recording apparatus. Number five, after the recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. Wow, sometimes when I read these details, I feel like the world building is so extensive and expansive. Like, just considering how astral dilation can be a thing. It's a throwaway line in a very small note. But damn if that isn't cool. Hypnosis Lab. Uh, hmm. There's actually not too much around here. Hypnosis Lab. This is where the x-ray thing is. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there, mesmerized by it. The X-ray machine. In a soundproof room. Oh god. I feel like if I take the x-ray machine, these guys aren't gonna be as friendly anymore. But we gotta try. Does that mean that maybe we can hypnotize people? Once we get this ability? <sighs> Another one of this thing.
Okay. Oh god, it's the patterns. I don't know the patterns, though. Maybe if we look around? There are patterns right here on the wall. Hmm, okay. But there's two things here, right? It's not just that one. Yeah, you can see it. It's right there. How do I... Oh, I gotta, like, build it myself. Um, if it's not clear, it's not like I'm trying to go through the patterns to try to find the right one. It's like each individual side is its own pattern, and I gotta build the right pattern is what it feels like. Is it like this? The sides seem a little bit thick, though. Yeah, kind of like that. But also not. Oh boy. We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> oh! I think I got it. But I don't have the other one. There was another spot here. Oh, but there's some, like, other patterns here, too. How do I know if I'm doing the right one or not? This way is blocked off. Oh, I bet this is gonna be the place that we come down from once we get the x-ray machine. This is locked. How can I open this? I'd probably open it by solving the puzzle on the computer. But the puzzle on the computer... There's two things. There's two control units, but only one of them is active right now. Maybe we have to come back later? I'm actually not even sure if that's really what we want here. And is that, like, correct? Because there's a line in the middle there. But you can't make it so there's no line, I don't think. Oh, and I actually screwed it up just now. <laughs> oh, frick. Oh! <gasps> oh, I did the thickness wrong earlier. Because the sides had to be thick too. I thought that there being two monitors meant that we had to find two cubes. But the other one was just indicating the lock status, I see. Now this is open. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark, First Boss. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Well, that's a lot of conditions they have to agree to. Use C's to complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Seas. There's people there. Golden copy. Do you want me to just attack him? I don't think so, right? You want me to do something more special. Yeah. Ooh, there's a lot of other people here. Enemies at low health can be seized. Ah, okay. Seized enemies will fight alongside Jesse. Okay, okay. So we gotta seize a lot of people here to try to um, get them to help us fight the golden guy. Oh! 
Maybe we can only have two at a time. Thanks, I guess. Oh. Well, they're all dead. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. Hmm. Do all objects have to be bound to somebody? Because if so, who are they bound to? 